Welcome back. It sure feels like an eternity, doesn't it? But yeah, we're back. We're playing Shogi Wars again. Um, earlier today I had the opportunity to watch an actual pro play against an amateur in a teaching game. That was exciting. Um, I'm probably not going to make a video of that because I don't know if I have the rights to do so. It's not my game, etc. But uh, it'd be interesting in the future to know if spectating and commentating on such things live would be permitted by this organization. I don't know. But regardless, uh, let's play some Shogi Wars. This could be good fun. As usual, we're going to play a 10-minute game. And uh, without further ado, let's get a doing. I believe I have this set to use the one kanji pieces. Uh, since viewers expressed interest in my using them, despite my repeated insistence that this board is rather small and the pieces are kind of small, uh, apparently for viewers it's a lot better than it is for me. Uh, so we'll do what works for the viewers. Good luck. Alright, Gota, we play second. Uh, I'm going to continue playing Central Fall Rook. Okay. Uh, yes, this is playable here. Um, I forget the move order if I'm supposed to play the Central Fall Pawn earlier or later in this sequence. Um... This is playable, right? I'm concerned this silver might approach my bishop. But yeah, I think the correct move order here... Okay. Oh goodness, have I flubbed this again? I'm supposed to have a silver at the ready by this point, aren't I? Um, yeah, this is going to be awkward for sure. I messed up yet again. No matter how many times I study this, I can never seem to recall it when I need to remember it. Um, all right, so let's not delay it further. Right. So they have taken the center. Um, hmm. I think this is okay. So I'm going to complete my half Mino castle. Uh, yeah, I need to complete this. Completing, putting my king somewhere relatively safe is not optional, as much as I'd like it to be. Um, and then I think this is a reasonable course of action. Um, still not clear on where the rest of my pieces belong here. Right. That was foreseeable. Oh, I could have put my rook on the third file. I could have considered that anyway. Um, somehow I thought this was the only option. It's not. But I might... Uh, this is getting dicey. This is getting very dicey. Um, hmm. All right, what do I make of this? Wait, that's a free pawn. I'm so confused. Have I stepped into a fork somewhere? So I'm still not seeing it. Um, hmm. 
I mean, yes, it's scary. But no, I can't run away forever. Um... Oh, this is more complicated than I thought it was just a second ago. What I failed to account for... Oh, actually, wait. My bishop covers the rook's head. This is actually quite strange. And if it works, maybe it's completely playable. Okay. This is to detract my... distract my bishop. Um... So, what do I do? This is incredibly bizarre. Um, We're going to do this, even though it looks more than a bit crazy. I think it's okay. Because I've got aggressive moves too. Right, you've got this knight fork. Um, but I'm going to be generous and also offer my lance. And I think it's this generosity they didn't expect. They might sacrifice rook takes bishop. Uh, wait. Really? That is a bold move. Um... All right. So now I attack very rapidly. Yeah, okay, you got a lance. I'll give you that. Um, not sure that taking that was necessarily your best play. This got super sharp. Right, so now we have a rook to play with, in addition to all the other pieces that we have. Um, Let's keep the rook away from my king here. So I'm conflicted, like, oh, next turn, yeah, I might end up doing a, a gold drop here to hit the knight and the bishop. Um, and if the bishop retreats to protect the knight, I might do rook takes bishop. Um, 
because like this rook is living a pretty i don't know i don't know the rook is currently better than the promoted bishop but probably not for long yeah my opponent's trying to read out like are they checkmated um no they're not but i'd be very surprised if i did have mate here but it is scary I had given them a lot to think about in this position. I wonder if they're considering a counterattack. Just like completely forgetting. Well, no, they have to block my check. They don't have a choice here. But they might start a counterattack very soon. So I need to be careful about that. So I'm going to try to activate all three of my golds at once here, while also trying not to lose my king. Alright, so... Uh, I thought... Hmm. Go I misread this. I thought it was safe here. I have very badly misread that situation. That's okay, because now I'm a bit safer than I was last turn, but... Um... Yeah, I must have had a more efficient way to do that. On the other hand, I could still promote this pawn and win a gold general anytime, so... That's okay. <laughs> I've been considering rook takes bishop if you just give me an instant to do it. Um, yes, of course I will take this. Thank you, I guess. Um, So I want to see if they're going to put anything next to their king. Anything valuable. Anything they could potentially use attacking me if they're going to defend with it. Um, okay, that's clever. But is it actually working? They have a knight. They have a gold. Yeah, okay. So that does force my hand here a bit. Um, I'm going to repeat this. Because I don't want them to play a bishop on the same diagonal against my king. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. Um, all right, let's go. Let's roll. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Um, that's confusing. Alright, check. I'm not sure. I don't think I had enough to checkmate there. Also, it's banking on this retreat being a promotion. It doesn't actually promote. It's my mistake. Um... Something.
I need every general I can have on this side of the board. I don't think I survive against... Um, if I just like continue attacking, I don't think I survive there. So I have to take a move to defend here. All right. Um, interesting. That's sharp. All right, I have to do this check. I don't have a choice there. Um, check. I think this is okay. I'm still trying to read out if I have a checkmate, if they move the rook off the file. I don't think I do. But I'm considering, like, do I drop a silver behind their line? Uh, wow. It's sharp. Wow, this is ugly. But that's for sure a way to defend my king. I need to play faster. Oh, this doesn't mate. It only mates if they take it. I thought I had mate, but I think if they just did not take, they could have survived this. Um... Thanks for the game. Whew! 30 seconds left. We made it. Let's play another game. 
That was intense. Good luck. It gets so extremely sharp. Um, this is going to get sharper still. <laughs> yeah, watch out. This could get very, 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 very sharp. Um, oh my goodness. How am I supposed to play this again? So we're castling opposite sides. So I'm supposed to launch an attack on the left side of the board and hopefully not get mated on the right side while I'm doing my attack on the left. Um, So, oh, how do we build a castle this time? I want my king slightly further from the center. Oh, maybe I was supposed to build Cozy Castle instead of Half Mino. Yeah, Half Mino here is kind of strange. All right, uh, only because my king is aligned with this diagonal in a really scary way. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, this looks really strange, right? But I think, um, I think it makes sense. After all, like, this silver and bishop and rook should be approaching on the left side of the board, so... Like... I don't know. Um... I mean, yeah, this is pretty unorthodox, but also I'm a bit uncomfortable with... Why one square? Um, I'm not super comfortable with how they have gone all in on attacking the center here. So... I'm so confused.
What is my opponent doing? All right, forward we go. Um... I just am not seeing or understanding something pretty fundamental here. I still don't see it. So, what's up? All right. Forward we march. My silver, bishop, knight, and rook all come to life at the same time here. Um, so this looks like an extremely powerful sudden attack. Uh, I mean, maybe I just got extremely lucky, I don't know. But... Um, yeah, something unusual happened for sure. Here I am sacrificing a silver, uh, which looks kind of crazy. Oh, they didn't even take it. Oh my goodness. Um. Go mm hmm. All right, here's a pawn. I am mystified. We need to review this game afterward to figure out just how bizarre this is. Um, something very strange happened. They have one, two, three defending this. If I do knight takes, knight takes, silver takes, silver takes... Yeah, no, this just mates directly. Um, right? This has to mate.
Thanks for the game. Alright, we'll postpone that analysis. Um, let's play our last game. Good luck. Right, we're in the same boat that uh, last round we put our opponent in. Um, So I do this because my knight and pawn are already lined up, and I want to drop bishop here and strike their king directly. Does this make sense? I assume it does. Um... What is going on? Bishop, silver, pawn, silver, pawn, knight, take, king takes, knight, king moves, rook over. It's a bit slow. Um, I don't know. Well, no. No, it is a bit slow. Um... Yeah, let's play one developing move first, so I don't get completely pwned in the event that my attack fails. Um, which it might. Right. All right, so their bishop can't oppose my bishop right now. Ah. Ah, that's good. That's a good move. That answers my inquiry. Um, I can start a different inquiry here uh, about can I make some different attack. But my main concern is addressed now. Um, hmm. All right, this looks like an okay place for my bishop. Yeah, no, they've played a good opening. Um, they've played accurately, and I've not. Well, I say that. I've done one thing right. Maybe it's not so obvious. Yeah, they got my lance, they have a promoted bishop, but I got this in. Interesting. Um, right. 
makes a little room for me to operate. I should take their center pawn. I don't see a follow in, or I don't see continuation, but uh, having the pawn in hand could be useful. Having the rook on a decent square could be useful. Uh, if somehow they do manage to attack it, I could retreat my rook to the back rank, bring my gold over to try to trap their horse, but mostly just try to slow down them from using their horse, because um, I can't actually trap it. Unlike last game where I did get to trap a horse. But also I could consider taking this and then drop it right here. Which does not seem useful at all, but I could consider it. My king is so exposed. <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll get my king away from the center and away from their rook and consider building a castle because I don't have an attack right now. I don't think I have an attack. All of my pieces are just kind of sitting at home. Um. Hmm, what to do? Oh, wait, they could drop this lance right in front of my knight. Um, that's a bit inconvenient. Yeah, that's probably better, though. Gosh, it would be nice if I had an attacking move. Alright. Well, we've almost built a castle. That might help us later. Um... As beautiful as the rook is up here, it's Go not that effective. It's just as effective back here as it is all the way up there. I mean, I want to trap this horse, but they can drop a lance in front of my rook and then I run away. And then they've dropped this lance in the middle of nowhere, and it'll take them forever to get it toward my castle. But 
This might be the best I can hope for right now. I could also spend a move giving my king the escape hatch. It'll... I don't know. It's scary. It's scary to push that. Because that could end up spelling my demise later. Hard to say. But like any attacking move I do here. Okay, that's clever. That makes sense. In one way, it makes sense. It's a good defensive play. Speaking of defensive plays, let's play this. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I was trying not to be afraid. Um, well, that sucks. I don't know what to do. I guess this makes as much sense as anything. Um, oh, wait, I have this attacking move. Do I play it now? Yeah, no, this is exactly the right occasion to play this move. Um, because I have one hell of a follow up. There we go. I wasn't even trying to set this trap, nor did I even see it. But I'm kind of forced to play it on account of having nothing else to aim at. So now we got a bishop in hand, which should be awesome. And so now we pawn drop, move the knight up. I don't know, somehow attack here. Um. somehow attack here. Oh boy. I don't know. You gotta attack somewhere, right? Check. Not check. Something. Yeah, I'm so confused. How do I? start or continue any kind of attack in this position. Because all I can see are just ways to sacrifice material without really gaining much. Okay, I don't see... The, oh, I see the threat now. Um... I'm going to fall into the trap because there's nothing else I can do. Thank you, I have a knight now. Is 
so a knight could help me attack somehow. I don't exactly see how, but there's got to be a way. Oh boy. Um, I don't know, man. Gotta try something. I feel like I've missed the target, but I... Like, the target's not obvious here. Actually, this edge could be an interesting target. Because my bishop and knight are lined up with it already. Um, I'm not sure if that's effective. I've got to try something. The closer I hit to the king, the better, but it's a bit hard to hit. It's a bit hard for him to move his pieces because I'm constantly threatening bishop drops all over his side of the board. So he needs to watch out for any bishop drop I can do. Um, on the other hand, I have to find an effective bishop drop. Alright, check. Check. Another pawn drop. Let's play with fire. There's another check. Another pawn drop. It's just the gift that keeps giving. Um, oh, I'm being silly, of course. I missed a tactic. We'll give up this pawn. Um... There's the tactic. Should have spotted that last time around. Right. Um. That was unwise. But I guess I'm confident. It's not wise, though. Um. This is the idea that I want to continue piling up pieces right next to their king. And the chance that somehow this could resolve in my favor. Um. Oh gosh, I made things more complicated for myself. Woe is me. Oh my god, I just gave up my rook. Because I can't remember how the pieces move. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I didn't need the rook anyway. I cannot remember how all the pieces move, because this game is complicated. Um... This is why I use the English pieces. There's just too many things to keep track of. Um. 
30秒。Oh, clever. 20秒。Oh gosh, what do we do now? Cannot move the pieces fast enough to keep up with this game. All right, thank you for the game. Whew, that was exciting. All right, wow. Um, so yeah, I think it's fair to say that these games are very exhilarating. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Using the mobile client would probably help. Uh, because it's just easier to interface directly with your hand on a mobile device. We had several good opponents today. Three very crazy games. Um, and that's kind of the idea of when we play on the site. We're playing 10-minute Shogi. It's going to be wild. Um, but yeah, as we ascend the ranks, it just gets crazier and crazier every single game. Oh boy. Well... That was exciting. I hope we all enjoyed. We're going to have to analyze this a bit later. Wow. Uh, thanks to all the opponents for very exciting games. Um, and yeah, there's a lot for me to learn. Uh, I've been spectating other uh, people live streaming their games of Shogi and realizing just how shallow my knowledge of opening theory is. Um, and perhaps I would do better if I studied a bit more diligently. But uh, it's very exciting to play 10-minute Shogi, get these wild time scrambles, and um, yeah, I'm surprised I won two today. I really, really didn't feel like I was winning any of them, but uh, somehow things worked out. 